Dr. Jaffe, can you explain what changes are happening in the immune system over the three to six month avoidance treatment period that allows reintroduction without immune response to previously reactive items? And what would you expect to see if only the avoidance and not the full program is followed? Let me answer that because uh, it's an interesting two-part question. Let me ask you the second, answer the second part first and then the first part second. So the second part is, what if someone gets the results of the LRA testing and they said, just, I'm, I'm going to just substitute. I'm going to be as careful as I can. I'm going to substitute for these reactive items, but I'm not going to do the lifestyle program. You can expect that over 6 to 12 weeks the person will feel better and then the symptoms will reoccur because the underlying digestive pathology, the underlying digestive problem, what is often called the silent epidemic of digestive disorders. And it's only silent because people don't link their chronic illness to a digestive uh, underlying cause. But the silent epidemic or the epidemic of digestive disorders which is rampant in Western civilization, Inter interestingly almost absent in traditional societies and people who uh, eat a traditional uh, diet and live a traditional lifestyle. Uh, but in Western societies and industrial advanced societies, it's, it's epidemic, maybe even endemic, which means even more common than epidemic. Uh, and if you simply substitute without correcting the underlying digestive problem, you're likely over time to develop a new set of reactive foods, chemicals, toxins, or medicines. We can test for that every six months. And yes, people do have a relief when they substitute for the reactive items, but that's the window of opportunity to now address the first part of the question, which is why combine a systematic assessment and a systematic substitution of reactive items with a lifestyle program. And here there's some good news as well as some better news. The good news is that out of hundreds of items that we're going to test a true lymphocyte response, a true ex vivo measure of all delayed <coughs> immune pathways, maybe a handful of items, maybe two handfuls of items at most, will come up. So we do not find people reactive to 90% or 50% of the items we test for, fortunately. So there's a specific list that very often has meaning to that individual in terms of when they might have been exposed to that item during times of distress or times of uh, toxin exposure or uh, nutritional deprivation in their life. And when you combine that with the information we receive from the health appraisal questionnaire, the health assessment questionnaire, the HAQ, when you combine the cell culture with the information from the questionnaire, we can then provide information about which high priority supplements to start with and which mental and physical activities will help evoke human healing responses specifically rehabilitating digestion and the microbiome, but also metabolism and the metabolome. And increasingly we know today that there's cumulative places where repair is deficient. And accumulated repair deficiency is known more commonly as inflammation. And inflammation has now been linked to almost all chronic illness degenerative illness, autoimmune illness, and autoimmune illness itself is now linked to almost all major categories uh, of, uh, of, of ill health. <clears throat> so every part of the body has multiple autoimmune and or inflammatory conditions. These all relate to the immune defense and repair system. We want to substitute for the things that have been burdening the immune system, but then we want to rehabilitate the digestion and the metabolism, including the detoxification system. We want to, in addition to rehabilitate uh, the digestive system, we want to get the good bugs in to crowd out the bad bugs. Very often I find that clinically people are occupied or preoccupied with specific uh, organisms or pathogens or uh, specific uh, problems of digestion and they're kind of fighting with them. 
And we say, stop fighting and start evoking healing responses. Stop fighting and start healing. Stop fighting and enhance the physiology. In other words, put the good things in and reduce the burdens on the body, both immune and toxic, to the extent that you can, so that you can evoke human healing responses. But if you want to evoke healing responses, you've got to have all the members of the uh, metabolic team available, because whatever is the least available item that's needed in a complex system, uh, that least available item controls the whole system. So for people with sugar regulation problems, of course we want to look at chromium and vanadium, but we also want to look at the acids produced by immune reactions to foods and to maldigestion uh, when the repair of the wall of the intestine is insufficient and partially digested immune reactive elements get into the body and set off an appropriate defense alert on the part of the immune defense and repair system. But that's very metabolically costly. It's like running a marathon metabolically every time the immune system has to go on uh, defense red alert. So we want to substitute for the reactive items and then we want to use that time of feeling and functioning better as a window of opportunity to evoke healing responses, which means getting the good things in in sufficient amounts, as I've described, uh, and therefore being able to remove uh, through digestive transit, uh, through uh, appropriate sweat and uh, breath, uh, toxins from the body. Um, so in summary, you can feel better for a short time if you just substitute and then you can retest every six months, or you can really address the underlying issues, which is what we prefer and do recommend, uh, so that you can evoke healing responses, you can remove obstacles to recovery, you can do that by combining substitution with an intelligent, very personalized uh, lifestyle program uh, that includes targeted supplementation and mental and physical activities uh, that awaken or reawaken that su sustain, restore, or enhance uh, your physiologic, uh, homeostatic, uh, self-regulating, very efficient system when healthy and very uh, demanding, energetically demanding, metabolically demanding, digestively demanding uh, when you're in rehabilitation mode. So we do recommend following the LRA results, but we also recommend combining that with the lifestyle uh, specific uh, suggestions that come back with the report uh, so that you can uh, really restore both the microbiome and the metabolome, both the digestion and the metabolism uh, to their robust and, and efficient and resilient self.